Clock in, clock in. Black gotta just walked in. Yeah. yeah. He already dead. It ain't no need to check his fighters, bitch. Yeah. He already dead. It ain't no need to check his fighters. Team Black got to stand up, man. Yeah. Right now, I'm talking about the weirdest situation that Zay can't cross my dome. You hear me? Now, it's about Black China. It's something about Black China that just be, like, throwing me off. Like, for real. Like, Shorty look good. Shorty be tweaking. I be like, damn, why she be tweaking? And then one time I seen who her mom was. I was like, damn. Shorty look good. But she be tweaking too, like y'all drink too much liquor, like like what the hell going on, like y'all a little bit too lit, you feel me? China baby, I ain't trying to go too hard on you, cause like uh, I think I still uh I'll do something to that, you hear me? I think like some like like that, you hear me? Like what is that? Why is what's smacking? Uh, booty cheese. But yeah, it might have to go up. But like, I just want to speak on this situation. And this report said Black China involved in a police investigation for holding a woman hostage in her hotel room, accused of appearing high on cocaine. Baby Coke? So you ain't talking about Coca Cola? You ain't talking about the beverage? Pepsi? Nothing? Hell no. Can't be. But could be. They got this video going around of a girl apparently held hostage by China, you feel me? So let's take a look at it so we can like really see what's going on. Cause y'all know, don't nobody know it like we know it. Cause I'm gonna put the whole icing around the cake, you feel me? Might just put a little cherry on top just to, so we can get a clear point of view of what's going on for real. Yes, she's crying. China? She's crying. Who is that at the door? Who is that with their phone now? What the hell is really going on? Hold up, we just watched a second of this. It already looked crazy. Her face blurred out. Apparently, she don't approve of this message because if she did, her face wouldn't be blurred out. Hold up, it's looking kind of skeptical, y'all. What's going on? Come on, Jen, let's go. Okay, it don't look like she held hostage. It look like she she about to leave. Like what's going on? We're standing over. We're leaving. Crazy. How she started crying? I don't know what. Am I the only one who just peeped? She wasn't crying until she got close to her friend. Hold up. We're not standing over. We're leaving. Crazy. Nah, it's crazy. She's crying. Sorry, Jennifer. Come on, baby. And her name Jennifer? So I'm a little fishy about the hostage uh, victim. It's not your fault. I'm sorry. It's not you. What you sorry it's, about? You didn't do this. She did this. I'm not going in there. Her. Did she just say go in there and do what? Say hey? It's not you. It's, you didn't do this. She did this. I'm not going in there. Her. I wanted to kick the door in. Bro, you see that? Okay, cool. I'm not going to All right. Go, got, you, got you. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. Bully, bully. I'm going. I'm going. I don't want any of you. I don't want anything to do with her. I'm sorry, sis. I'm sorry. 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 I'm who is that right there with like the uh decombobulated booty? Like her booty just like stiff in all type of areas. And then, you know, people like round booty, but her booty like not like this. It's more like this. Like it ain't even an O, it's a it's a U. Not talking about like that shit ain't hitting on nothing. No, we don't have a key, so I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Come on, don't, no, no, don't be. Yo. I'm so sorry. Apparently, if somebody was on it looked like she was on that shit. I didn't see China giving no sign, but China did look kind of pissed off at the dude holding the camera. Like, when she, cause she like, bro, you stay back, bro. Like, 
don't come nowhere near over here. You feel me? So I could understand she probably has some animosity towards the dude video on the camera. But what is he doing outside of the room? So I'm going to read his little statement so I can get a better picture of this. Aron, whatever his name is, 35, told the outlet that he and his unnamed female companion attended a China-hosted Black Friday party just outside Sacramento. At 3M Event Center on night of November 26, he said he and his friend were then invited back to the Stars Hotel room for drinks. He claimed that China soon got agitated, alleging that she appeared high on and at that point. Nigga, all y'all was on, on that shit or whatever. If she was on it, nigga, you, you was on it too. Nigga, stop trying to say she was just turned. Knight and said he and his pal decided to leave. What were you doing outside? What the hell she was doing inside? I don't get that part, you feel me? He claims he walked out first, prompting China to shut the door and alleged keep the crying woman locked inside the suite against her will. Probably, you feel me? She was kicking him out. And she just closed the door behind his ass. You feel me? Shorty probably was not trying to leave at all. The only reason Shorty probably left is because the friend stayed at the door. China was probably attracted to Shorty, but she wasn't attracted to the friend. And I don't know if he's straight, sideways. He sound kind of, you feel me, off. But like, China don't want to do nothing with you. So she was probably trying to get rid of you and kind of leave your friend. But you was bugging at the door. And the reason I feel like the friend really would have stayed but she didn't want to leave her friend is because she started crying soon she got close to her friend you feel me like that that kind of threw me off but everyone was enjoying themselves drinks were flowing and energy in the suite was real good night and told the outlet suddenly out of nowhere china just yelled at my friend shut the fuck up or she'd beat both our asses That coat was hidden, huh? The vibe immediately changed. At that point, we thought it was best to leave. He went on, but when I went to walk out, she shut the door behind me and kept my friend in the room. China wouldn't let her leave, even though my friend was crying and shouting. She was being a total bully. She was not crying till she got close to you, bro. Stop the cow tripping. After about 20 minutes of waiting in the hallway night and said members of what believed were part of China's entourage came up to her room and knocked on the door. In the footage China can be seen unlocking and opening the door night and then shouts at his sobbing friend urging her to make a run for it and she does. She did not run. She walked. Oh my god. They trying to get them a bag y'all. It's not you Jennifer. It's not your fault. What are you sorry so for? He's high on cocaine and crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry you experienced that, baby. I'm so sorry. You did nothing wrong. She tried to tell us all to shut up and she's gonna kick everybody's ass. I said, You ain't kicking nobody's ass who I came with. And then that made her kick me out the room. You're not gonna disrespect me? And then you kept my friend in the room? No, f this. Now, I would say China know better than China. You tripping, you're a little bit too hot out to kidnap. But, like, from what I see, it's a case of we want you to stay, but we want your friend to leave. And the friend wasn't going for it. The friend sounded like one of those annoying friends that since I left, my friends got to leave. And the white girl, she just so lit and turned up. Like, that's why she's saying she's sorry, bro. She stayed her ass in the room. My nigga, she ain't trying to leave, bro. Like, the only thing that made her leave is when she seen you was still at the door and trying to open the door. So trying to like, oh yeah, you, you want to leave with bro? Get your ass out too, you feel me? Now, if y'all feel otherwise, let me know in the comments below because that right there was not hitting on nothing. And if China was supposedly on that coat, everybody in the would doped up on Gaina, especially Jennifer. But this other situation I wanted to talk about is P. Youngie coming at Fulio for snitching, saying he came on the internet talking about the situation that happened when supposedly 100 bullets was flowing at that boy, but in all reality, it was only like 14, 12. He lied. But y'all, let's see what P. Youngie had to say to Fulio on Clubhouse. You really a rat? I don't right, know. No street nigga that right? Fulio around that gun and decock. Nigga, what type of games you playing, man? That boy be around young boy too much. Boy, you sound like young boy. You're so stupid. I got, I got, I got, and listen, if you know what's going on in Florida, I know all different stupid ass jokes. Boy, fuck you, boy. Fuck you, boy. Going back and forth with. Hey, I can't say what I want to say because they really recording. But you don't got none of that. You don't got none of that. And you don't got more than me. Don't do that. Don't do that. And you don't got more than me, nigga. Don't say, bitch. We're going to make a dead outside, bro. I need to fuck the police. 
Nigga, you just told on yourself, gang. Just in case you ain't no P-Yankee, you just kind of like dry did that. You feel me? Like, how you going to down talk old boy for that and you doing that? You hear me? I don't get it. Hey, Lahoe, you going to make that dead out of something, bitch? How the f*** we the police that you posted your gutted dick cock on Instagram? I don't know what you just said. You just said the police. I know what you're talking about. Hey, I don't know what the hey. You don't know what the f***. Man, I'm talking about. Man, I know what you're talking about. Man, I know what you're talking about. Bitch, you know you're talking about. Oh, yeah, bitch, you know. Bitch, you know. Bitch, you know you're never swinging this way. Hey, you a bitch. Nigga, you got shit on your belt, bitch ass. If you ask me, bro, this clubhouse thing is going to start getting a lot of folks in some bro. Not only is it going to get a lot of people into issues with they ops more deeper, it's going to get a lot of these folks jammed up. These boys are telling hard on Clubhouse. I think they created Clubhouse just for that. Yo, this the club where everybody tell on themselves. So if you're not willing to tell on yourself or start beef or uh, anything like that, this ain't the spot for you. And y'all notice, the females just be all in the Clubhouses. You see all they little pictures, but they barely be saying nothing. Like, they, they the police. These hoes look good, but they, they gonna tell. Immediately, y'all, you trying to be the toughest nigga for the old that ready to snitch on everybody. Oh, that old P. Yugi who said that, you feel me? He kind of cute and all, but yeah, that was him who said that. And then they the ones who be screen recording, spreading rumors, all of that. You hear me? Y'all niggas is not even doing it smart. Y'all, she look good, but she work with them people. Now, I feel like P. Yugi is basically calling Fulio them people because he I guess called the police or whatever but as far as I heard Fulio joint is registered even though he only shot two three times you feel me it registered though you feel me so if he was to do that and then they get them shells and come back oh that's Fulio and then he didn't call them people or stand up to decal and do all of that he gonna get in trouble. Why would he not do that? Now, if you wanna be so street and stick by the street code, oh, I'm finna flam and I'm finna slide, but guess what, this fire in my name, you feel me? That's not smart, sir, you feel me? Yeah, it's okay to be that street dude, but let's be smart about it. Better sit your ass up and, and claim your little self-defense, woo the woo. Now, if he ain't saying no names or nothing, like it was Richard, it was Johnny, and I seen Dexter from the laboratory. He was shooting the big gun. You feel me? He shot three times. The other dude shot a hundred. You know, he gonna lie about how many times people shot. But if he would have did that, then they'd tell him. Other than that, he's doing what he had to do to remove himself from a charge. From trouble. No I'm talking about? So, a lot of folks' brain be so fried. They so busy on trying to look like that dude who's standing on business whole time you finna be standing in jail line for attendance being slow like that hell wrong with you but better play it smart you better do your business and silent and stay off a of clubhouse because clubhouse is gonna be called jailhouse real soon because everybody on that business on the say all that y'all off will be jail real shit now nah. I was just a black guy. There ain't nobody special. I just be knowing what I be talking about a little piece. But let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment below because I'm about done with both of these situations. Clock out, clock out. Black guy just walk out. Okay. I'm out here trying to get paid, but dogs, I ain't got no kids. Ain't trying to be able to say your dog. I know that you did. Ain't out here doing no favor, dog. What you done did?